factors, factors, multiples, divisible, divisibility rule. Sorry, what? Divisibility rule. Yes, these are the terms that you should be familiar with after learning this topic. So what are you waiting for guys? Let's check it out. the workbook for a page 26 ready guys now here is my tips use t chart to list all the factors of a number what is t chart sir this is what t chart looks like it looks like a letter t yeah. how to use it let's check it out In the first question, we need to find the factors of 40. Let's put 40 on the top, okay? The first multiplication of 40 will be 1 times the number, which is 40. Since 40 is even number, so it can be divided by 2. 2 times, yeah, it is 20. What else? 4, obviously, 4 times 10. That's correct. What else? 5, yes, 5 times, how many, yeah? Mm -hmm. 8, yes, it is 8. So, is there anything else? No. So, we write the factors 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20, and 40. Let's come to another question. We need to find the factors of 63, okay? Well, obviously, the first one will be 1, and also the number itself, which is 63. If you want to put the uh, cross or times, it's okay. And then we cannot divide it by 2, so the only number we can divide is 3 times 21. And then we know it, there is 7 times 9 equals to 63. So the factors are 1, 3, 7, 
21 and 63 All right, let's...
For to answer these questions, you have to know the divisibility rules. The numbers which can be divided by 2 should be even numbers. That means it has 0, 2, 6, or 8 as its ones. Yes, understand, right? And then, number B, the digit ones should be either 0 or 5, so that it can be divided by 5. The numbers are 40, 55, and 80. So, the, to answer the last questions, you just check at the tops, yeah? We only have 40 and also 80 as the common factor numbers. Alhamdulillah, now you can find how to, the method how to find the factors of a number. And also how to find common factors of two numbers. Alhamdulillah, let's do this in your future studies okay thank you very much for watching this video see you really soon